I'm legally insane. And I've got nine must-own OG Xbox games here for you today. These are all recent pickups. I've got about 300 games that i got to get through. I've got a 300-game backlog that I'm going to be going through. And today we're going just OG Xbox. I'm going through a Sega Genesis phase an OG, and an OG Xbox phase right now. Why am I going through an OG Xbox phase? Well, I recently got the new uh, official Microsoft hard drive for my Xbox 360 Slim. So now I can finally play OG Xbox games. So we're going to get started. And these games are in no particular order. And I guarantee there's going to be some gems in here that you didn't know about. I guarantee there's at least one. You may, and you may have known about it, but you didn't know it was good. You thought it was garbage, and I'm here to prove to you otherwise. We're going to start off real strong. One of the biggest hidden gems ever made on any console ever made. Circus Maximus Chariot Racing. I picked this up with my OG console back in the day. And I looked up the year that this came out. It was 2002. Let me double check that. 2002? Yes, it was. I went home with this game with the console in the bag. This was one of the games that I picked up with the console. It was actually a discount game too. It was fairly cheap. I think I paid $17.99. Brand spanking new. So what is this? This is a racing game similar to Mario Kart Double Dash. But you're in chariots. So there's a racer, a fighter in the back. You choose your horse and your chariot, all with different strengths and weaknesses. Each of the combatants has different attacks. There are power-ups in the game, although the power-ups are very basic. We're talking like speed increase, double damage, very basic stuff. But where this shines is the four-player races and battle modes. Okay, We played the hell out of this back in the day, so much so that I got banned from my friend's house. His mother banned me. Because it turns out I was yelling at the as loud as I could. I'm not exaggerating. I was yelling as loud as I could for like four hours straight as we were playing this on four player. And I didn't realize it at the time. I was just so into the game and having the time of my life. And once he told me afterwards that his mother had banned me, as soon as I left, he, he told me his mother, the second I left that night, his mother said that kid's banned. He's never allowed coming back. And when he told me that, that's when I realized, I looked back on it and I said, holy hell, I was yelling. Like, my throat hurt. My throat hurt for days. If not, if not weeks. I was yelling so loud. And one person's the driver, one person's the fighter in the back. I preferred being the fighter in the back. There is a deathmatch or races. They're both fun. And really, if you're playing races, you're not even trying to win the race. It's You're just trying to kill each other. Now, the game doesn't hold up too well today because it's missing just enough content to make it perfect. So had they made a sequel, this game would have been perfect. It's so close to being perfect, they, they just need to change a couple of things and it could have been literally the best game ever made. It's a shame they never got a sequel to go and correct those wrongs to make this the, literally the best game ever made. So ch uh, check this one out. And by the way, I didn't buy this. This was sent to me from my mother from my house back in Ontario. This is my OG copy back in the day. So I included it as a recent pickup because I recently got it. I haven't seen this game for like 20 years. My mother was about to throw it into the garbage can. But she sent it to me, thank goodness. She sent me a couple other games too. Thank goodness. Because she did throw out a whole bunch of others. We're not going to get into that. Pokemon Blue Complete in Box. Yeah, that one went into the garbage. Garbage can. $450 game. Garbage. My mother says, oh, well, it's Pokemon. That's not worth anything. Garbage can. But let's not get into that. All right. Next game here. Uh, Conquer Live and Reloaded. This is another must-own OG Xbox game. If you're an Xbox fan, these are all must-own games. Okay. Circus Maximus ain't no joke. And by default, you need to own Conquer Live and Reloaded. This is a remake of the N64 version. And they improved the graphics and made a couple of gameplay improvements too. They did put a lot of effort, but it is flawed because a lot of people will tell you that the N64 version is the best because they also took away some of the challenges. And that did take away from the game. But check this one out. By the way, yeah, these are all CIB. 
you know I like the CIB. CIB only. I only collect CIB. Uh, Conquer, I actually paid a whopping $45 for that. And price charting has it at $63 Canadian right now. These are all Canadian dollars. All right, we're going to save the best for last, by the way. Let's go with NFL Fever 2003. This is, again, my OG copy. My mother sent me this, thank goodness. I played the hell out of this. This, this was made by Microsoft. This is not an EA game. This was Microsoft's entry into football. I wasn't even big into football games back in the day when this came out. But I was big into my Xbox. And I loved the fact that, that Microsoft was coming out. This, this was a heavily promoted game. Heavily marketed. And it was really freaking good. The graphics, I remember back in the day when, when this was new. Me and all my friends, we thought the graphics looked like real life. You might laugh at that now, but back then, I kid you not, I kid you not, we would actually look at the TV from a distance, and we would say, look, 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 if you look at it from a distance, it looks like real football, like you're watching a game on TV. You know, we were smart enough to know that if you went up close, it doesn't look too real anymore. So we would say, well, well look at this, though. If you stand 10 feet back, wow, it looks real. Like if you were just walking into a room and you saw somebody playing it, you'd be like, hey, what game is being played? What football game is being played on a Friday night at uh, midnight? Wow, who's playing? And then you realize, oh, it's a video game. So NFL Fever 2003 was no joke, man. It was actually really good. I've got nostalgia for this game, so I consider it a must-own because guess what? Microsoft did not ever make a football game ever again. This is an Xbox OG exclusive, which by the way, so is Su Circus Maximus Chariot Racing. OG exclusive. You'll never see this again. And yeah, so I got that for free because I owned this back in the day. But I also paid about five bucks for NFL Fever 2004, which I have never got to play before. It does say they added a couple of really cool modes. Nothing too fancy. It's going to be almost identical as the original. They added a really cool like tournament mode that you and your friends could set up over Xbox Live. That would have been cool back in the day, but you also would have had to have like eight friends that actually owned this game. So if you got to experience that, that's pretty freaking cool. And good for you because probably not very many people did get to do that back in the day. It's basically an online tournament, which which is which doesn't need to be played all in one day. It's like like a pool, like you know, you go through the brackets and there's a winner at the end. All right, now here's here's a a beast of a game, Crazy Taxi Three, Microsoft OG Xbox exclusive, coming big time from Sega. By the way. Sega had a whole bunch of exclusives on the Xbox. Not too many. And there's a reason for that if you go into the history of Sega. When they were going out of business, they already had a working relationship with Microsoft with the Dreamcast. Microsoft made their operating system. Which I forget what it was called, but Microsoft basically made the operating system. And the games were very easy to program on the Dreamcast. Because they used like PC Microsoft coding language and whatnot. Which they did that because the Sega Saturn was the opposite. That was a huge factor in why the Sega Saturn failed. Only one, they say only one out of a hundred programmers. So you're talking the best of the best in the entire world could properly program on the Sega Saturn. Okay, properly as in take advantage of what the system capabilities were. You had to be one of the best programmers in the world or you wouldn't know how to do it. So you were creating garbage games and garbage ports. So they teamed up with Microsoft and they fixed that problem with the Dreamcast. All right, so they already had a working relationship and they were pissed off when Sony put them out of business with the PS2. 
They were pissed off and they said, let's go work with Microsoft. Screw those PS2 guys, which later on they started working with PS2 anyway. But the point being, they had some, uh, you know, they, they favored Microsoft. Oh, yeah. Crazy Taxi 3. Yeah. So by default, you need to get this. It's the very last console based Crazy Taxi game. We're not talking handhelds. This is the very last one. Yes, it's not the best. It has frame rate issues. Okay. But I believe it has three cities and uh, Las Vegas is your, your main uh, drive around town instead of New York City. This time it's Las Vegas. That's why it's called Crazy Taxi 3 High Roller. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, screw you. Simpsons Road Rage is better. And yeah, you know what? You're right. Come on, man. It's Simpsons Road Rage. Of course it's better. Of course it's better than this. But this is still freaking good, man. Uh, Crazy Taxi 1 and 2 had a lot of hype. They were very popular. But at the time, by the time Crazy Taxi 3 came out, it had also lost its popularity. It was no longer like the cool new thing. It was kind of getting old and stale. And that's why they don't make them anymore. Which, which, which is understandable. Had it been released maybe a couple years earlier, it probably would have been really popular still. Maybe if it was a Dreamcast title, it would have done a lot better, sales-wise. Oh yeah, and by the way, NFL Fever 03 sells for about 8 bucks. 2004 sells for about 8 bucks. And Crazy Taxi High Roller, I paid... $15, it sells about $31, and climbing, so if you're interested, you might want to consider picking it up today so that you don't have to pay $50 bucks tomorrow. You want to pay $50 bucks tomorrow? Be my guest, but if, if you're considering it, now's a good time. Second best game on this entire list, if not the first best, actually. Magic the Gather Gathering Battlegrounds. I don't know why this isn't the most popular game in the top 10 popular games ever made. I don't know why I'm telling you. I don't care what anybody told you. This is not a bad game. This is one of the best games ever made. And if somebody told you it was bad, maybe it's because they were playing single player, like a bunch of morons. Quit playing single player. This is meant to be played two player in two player head to head matches. I'll do my best to quickly describe the game. You don't need to know anything about magic cards, although it does help, but you don't play with cards. It's not a card game. This is an action arcade style head-to-head -head match. Long story short, you're both summoners. One side, there's a, you're each on one side of the field. You can't cross the other field, although you can temporarily to hit your opponent or steal some of his mana. But you can't stay over there too long or you'll take damage. You can do an attack, you have a shield, and everything else comes from spells that cost mana. Okay? Unlimited combinations because you customize your spell deck. You've got five schools of, of magic to choose from. And you can have up to two colors in one deck. But where the magic is, is the unlimited deck potential. There's no such thing as a bad card. There's no such thing as a bad strategy. There's unlimited possibilities. I played the hell out of that on Xbox Live back in the day, and I played the hell out of that on two-player local head-to-head -head matches. I will tell you one, two funny stories. One, I was playing, if anyone knows this, uh, anything about the card game, long story short, there's a, a black card in this, in this game, Juzon Jin. it's a 5-5 five, five. Very powerful black creature. It only costs like three mana. You can pump it out so fast and so early. It's a huge heavy hitter. The catch is every time it respawns, so every the, the monsters that you summon automatically go and attack your opponent. Okay, and they'll get blocked by monsters going there too. So you can block with other summons. But every time it respawns, you, you lose a health. So this, and I would never use I thought it was the worst card ever. And I'm playing online, Xbox Live, headsets on. I'm playing against some, some guy who keeps summoning Juzon Jin. This is like his first summon. He's rushing Juzon Jin. He keeps summoning them. And I was making fun of him. Like, what? As soon as he cast the first one, I was making fun of that guy. Like, what is this noob doing? I have my friend with me. He's watching me play. Making fun of this guy. 
I, I just thought he was some trash noob. Like, he wasn't even putting up a fight. He's summoning Juzan Jin. He's going to kill himself. Well, sure enough, I didn't realize that his plan was to summon non-stop Juzan Jins. And I got overwhelmed, and this guy was just screaming into the mic, old school, early 2000s, Xbox Live, where you just yell nothing but profanity and the most vulgar, uh, insane insults you can come up with. Well, this guy's just screaming his lungs out. And that was after screaming like a thousand Juzan Jins. He was just screaming Juzan Jin like a thousand times in a row. And yeah, I got wrecked. He absolutely destroyed me. I don't even think I did one damage to him. Juzan Jin. Juzan Jin. Anyways, fun game. Counterspell is very cheap in this game though, so if you're playing two-player local co-op, it might be good to make a house rule to ban that card. Best for last, guys. OG Dead or Alive Ultimate. OG Xbox. I got two copies here. Oh yeah, by the way, Magic the Gathering's not worth much. It's like 13 bucks. And I, I saw this in the discount bin back in the day. This was the discount game. And I don't know why it's not worth $10,000 right now, because it's that freaking good. I think they made a lot of copies of it, though. So, I have two copies of this, because the first one I got, I paid 20 bucks for, and it's in bad condition. So then, I'm not even going to spend much time on this one. There's two games in here. Dead or Alive 1 and 2. And they have both the newly designed version and the uh, DOA 2 and the OG original. We're talking PlayStation original DOA. So that's why I really enjoyed this game. But this version here is in mint condition. And I'll tell you something right now. I'm going to show you something. Okay, so in, in here there's the two games, right? This is mint condition. I paid 25 bucks for it and it was worth every penny. And the reason why you'll never find what I just bought, you'll never in your life get this for $25. CIB. It's got, it's got these Xbox Live cards. We don't care about these. Unscratched. We don't care about that though. Look at this. Comes with the cards. You will never in your life find this CIB, good condition with the cards. You will never find it. And if you do find it, you're going to pay a fortune for it. Because these cards got thrown out. And these are mint condition. Mint condition. I don't even think the, the previous owner played this game. It's like he bought it and maybe played it once. Those cards are very tough to find. Silky smooth. And I will show you DOA 2 Ultimate. Again, silky smooth. Previous owner didn't even touch it. You will never find it in this condition in your entire life. And if you do, you better pick it up. I'm telling you right now. So I'm going to sell my crummy one, my poor condition one. I'll try to get 25 for it on Facebook Marketplace just to hopefully make some profit. But I'll take 20 for it. I don't even care. I just want to get rid of it. If I can get 20 for it, which is exactly what I paid for it, I will happily sell it for 20, but I'm going to try and get get 25 for it. Somebody might pick it up. 
It's CIB, but it doesn't have the cards. Now, you know I like to get my games on the cheap. I don't pay full price. I always get it. If I don't get a discount, I don't buy. So I need to go and practice because I'm planning to get a couple of pickups this weekend. So I just need to practice. So I'll see you guys later. I'm going to turn the camera off. There we go. Now that that's over with, that was a pretty good video if I do say so myself. So now I need some, I need to create some space here. I need to practice. All right. So I think I'm going to go to that retro game store downtown this weekend. See what I can find out. I know he's got a shelf full of Super Nintendo games too. So here's what I think I should do. Walk up to the shelf. When the when the owner comes over to talk to me, I'm gonna talk about. Uh, I'm gonna let's let's practice. Come on, let's just just do a reenactment. Oh, hello there, sir. You have a fine establishment here. Yes, I am new in town, and I have a lot of money. I'd like to purchase all of your Super Nintendo games. Oh, the, that would be over $50,000, would it, sir? Oh, well, it just so happens I have $50,000 right here. Put them in the bag. Oh, h h hello there, sir. Um... I see that you have a Adve Super Adventure Island 2 game uh, right there that I, I think I would like to purchase. But instead of cash, do you take bullets to the face? How about you put it in the bag right now? I'm in a hurry. I got to get out of here. I got kids to feed. Yeah, I feed them with Super Nintendo games. Quit asking questions. Put the game in the bag. F a fine establishment you have here, good sir. Very nice list of Super Nintendo games. Yes. Yes, I am new in town. I'm from uh, um, Las Vegas. Yes. Uh, I was wondering, though, do you offer any sort of discounts? Oh, no, no sales today. Okay. Now, perhaps would a couple of bullets to the face change your mind? How about that? Do you, do you offer bullet to the face discounts? Oh, you do? Oh, well, thank goodness. It's my lucky day. Uh, would you mind putting all of your Final Fantasy games in that bag right there, good sir? Thank you. I'll be on my way. Uh, could you make it quick, too? You know, I, I really don't want to go to prison, so make it snappy, please. Oh, thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I am trying to get to over 9,000 subscribers. On my way to collecting over 9,000 retro video games. Why am I doing that? I'm legally insane.